All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. Again, we're working on our teddy bear. Uh, something a little bit different, and we're doing it so basic. Red, yellow, blue. Three colors, and that's all we're going to use to learn to mix colors to get colors. Uh, let's kind of get, let's finish this here. I've took my, I've got my yellow, I mixed it in with my red and blue. Kind of give me a teddy bear brown color. And I'm using a lighter up colors right now to give me that kind of a golden bear color. Let's get his, let's get his fish covering his face. Now see the strokes, how I'm rolling it on there? Not just painting like this. You know, see the difference that makes? Blend it in there. Get it on there. Especially with a teddy bear. Teddy bear is kind of, what would you call it when he's real fuzzy and that I, he's not just a straight line thing, but and get it on there. So we're covering the canvas. You always want to cover your canvas. Get everything painted good. Now, so I'm going right over those eyes, but they've been dry for a little bit, so that's fine. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to grab some more of this yellow and get this a little bit lighter in here. Let's get a, right around his eyes and stuff. You know, that's going to have to sit for a little bit before it really lighten up. But, so we'll come back to that. I know about dark. There you go. And grab some more of that yellow down here and come out here on his tip and cover some of that little brown I got on his fingers. There you go, lose some of that hard color, hard shape. So anytime you have a real thick line and you want to lose it, just put some lighter color over it. So you see how that line, how it thinned it down? Took some of that out. I'm going to try to start getting better at showing y'all how to do some of this. I, I understand what I'm doing and I hope somebody out there is wanting to learn this because see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to explain a little bit better. You know, let's get this thumb on here. Now get that thumb drawn back on there. Get that hand on there and begin to roll that brush. Keep those strokes in that bear. Because if we're working with acrylics, I keep getting water and putting it on here. Keep my brush wet. The top of his leg, where the sunlight will be hitting on top of his leg. Again, you'll learn shapes too. I don't want this to look flat. I want it to roll over. I want to know where the shadows are going to be. Uh, and I'm trying to lighten it up. And when you can't lighten it anymore, what does that mean? That means it's time to go darker. Get our toes back on there a little bit. Keep that shape on there. Get that heel on there. Painting is so much fun. Even the littlest things that you do can be just can be as much fun as the most technical things. But you know what you're learning? You're learning how to use a brush. You're learning how to put paint on canvas, you're doing something. Now let's darken this thing up. I'm going to grab some of this blue and put it in here. Blue, oh it turned green. I'm going to grab some of that yellow, oh it turned real green. Go to brown, grab some red, and we'll mix that in there and we'll get some more, uh, get to a brown color. Let's see how we can get that. There we go. We're getting back to our dark brown again. We'll grab a little more blue. I want this pretty dark. Because when we put those light colors on, there we go. When we put those light colors on, we lost our darks pretty much. See that? Oh, that made a good dark color. So just giving us colors. Let's get his eyes back in there. We get darker and then we can add some more shadows and stuff. And there's his arm coming up like that. There's his body up there. And I want that shadow to be kind of a shadow under here, under his arm there. Let's draw the hand. So I'm going to use this as kind of a shadow color. It's going to come like this and come up. Just gives me something that I keep hunting so I get the colors and the shadows that I want. So his head's going to cast a shadow on his body. I'm going to get that in there. So as the brush gets drier, see so how that kind of works, how it fades out there? Now i got some of paint back into it. I know i got a lot of paint up there. I'm going to try to pull a little bit into that. So I like that color. I really like that. Remember we had that leg come around kind of like that? Let's 
get a good line under it and where he's sitting on the ground. Remember we had that shadow on there. He's got to be sitting down on the ground. Can't be floating in there. I always set, I don't care if it's a bottle of glass of water, a football, a train, I don't care what it is, it's got to sit on the ground. If it don't have a shadow under it, it ain't sitting on the ground. Set it down. Always set it down. Remember we had those stitches in there? I, I kind of like that for a bear. Those bears are kind of homemade. Kind of got his leg coming out there. Let's get our let's get our pads back. And see how we just keep going. We go over it and over it and over it, move it, move it, move it around backwards and forwards until we get it to be what we want it to be. We're not afraid to do that. We'll keep adding paint, making things happen. Get that shadow out here. Let that other color show through a little bit. Now it looks like he's sitting down on something. Now let's see if we can't get a little bit of shadow. Make sure my brush is pretty dry. That's the shadow of his leg. Let's get this shape, make him kind of look a little more round. To do that. So I kind of got my brush. It's called dry brush. Not a whole lot of paint on there, and I'm just trying to get a shadow. Make him around so it's not flat. So this here's gonna be in the shadow. Take that dry brush and kind of make a shadow there. Grab a little bit more, get it on there. Just kind of work it. This is in the sunlight, so it won't be shadow there. This might be here on this part of the foot. And that separates the bottom of the foot from that part of the leg. And we'll do the same thing over here. There's the leg, we'll give it a little bit. Wherever the brightest light is, you got to have the darker dark. So that's an easy way to remember where to put your shadows. That always seems to work. You know, we're kind of getting a teddy bear look going here. Let's see how we want to do this. Casting the shadow on the side of his head. So bears are trying to make him look like a bear. Around his eye a little bit. So darken the head a little bit. See how it kind of makes it a bear shape. The bears kind of have a. There we go. I'm gonna roll that brush and just give that kind of bear shape look to it. And don't be afraid to let your stroke show. I hope that's starting to look a little bit like teddy bear. I'll tell you what, we can play with this fella for a good while, get the colors and the shapes we want. We just keep moving around, see how I kind of scratch with the brush. And we're gonna make this bear, we'll keep, we'll keep pushing this bear and see what we can get. I'll tell you what, y'all come.